everyone, it's Abs Loves Nerdy Things. I'm going to be doing a March plan with me. Uh, I know I haven't done one since the like beginning of the year, but I am going to need a lot of scheduling this, like for the end of the year with like studying and just like end of the year. Plus I'm a junior, so that's also like work and you know, just I'm going to need some organization and some planning. Um, but yeah, also along with that, I hope to maybe start doing more consistent videos. Um, that's like kind of what I've always wanted to do, but I haven't really planned stuff out. And that's also a reason why I want to start bullet journaling more often so I can make more videos for you and I can see you beautiful people more. Um, but yeah. Anyways. For this month, I decided to do a rainy theme. So like rain boots, umbrellas, you know, stuff like that. You know, this April showers, rain my flowers. <laughs> but yeah. First I did some nice big lettering for the month of April, um, which for uh, way too long, I thought it was March, <laughs> but no, it's April tomorrow. I like to sketch out my drawings first before I color them or mark them up because I messed up. <laughs> it's okay though. But here I'm drawing some rain boots. And a little puddle that like splashes over the April. And then for the left side of the page, I was thinking of a little quote to do that applies to April. And I went with spring. Reminder of how beautiful change can be. And then I stretched out a little umbrella behind it. And right now I'm inking it in. And then I start to color my little pictures next to my lettering sign uh just by the way if you guys <laughs> didn't know or if you can't tell um <laughs> i'm pretty new to like bullet journaling especially coming out with like my own ideas but i watch a lot of bullet journal youtubers and these kinds of videos Specifically, Amanda Rachel Lee. <laughs> That's, like, what I started watching. Um, yeah. But, I don't know. I still need a lot of practice. I just thought I'd share my process and my growth with y'all. I picked, like, yellow and blue because I really like yellow. And I think yellow and blue is just, like, classic. Like, I don't know. Like, the girl on the salt can, the mortem, whatever, the girl who has like the rain boots and the umbrella it reminds me of that, so. I colored this in for a while, um, but, oh, um, the markers that I'm using to color these in are uh, the Azure two-sided brush pens. Um, so yeah, I'll probably like put all the stuff that I use in the description so you guys can check it out. <laughs> While these markers do have a lot of coverage and I love the way the colors work, I don't think I'm going to be using these for bullet journals anymore because as you can see when I flip to the next page, they bleed so much. I did find an interesting way to cover it up, but it didn't do it completely and I think it's better if I just use my other markers because I don't want to deal with that every time. These could be great for things like posters or one-sided art projects though, so, yeah. <laughs> this is when I start experimenting with um, how to cover up the lead through, and I decided to do a uh, kind of like scrapbook uh, journal page just with like clouds and then like the book thing, and um, it didn't cover it up completely. But I think the ending product looked good, and it could have looked better, but, um, I don't know. I think, I think it looked okay, and I might do, like, more spreads like this in the future. 
so. But basically what I did is I just put the little excerpts from the book um, behind everything and then I started layering like clouds on top and I put some washi tape and I found like other colors and I added to it um, and in the end I think it just looked really cool. Um, yeah. I could not find a good black pen. I run out of black pens so easily and I need more soon. <laughs> um, so that's something I'm going to work on getting. Um, but yeah, this eventually worked. I just had to like go over it a few times, but yeah. Typo is a pretty good store. I mean, maybe the quality of the pens aren't that great, but they're still fun, you know? I realized that I forgot to put on the uh, piece of paper first, so I, I had to take off the cloud and glue it back on. But that's okay, you know? Fixing mistakes. This took uh, a lot of time, to be honest. The um, whole like journaling. But in the end, I think it looked pretty good. For now though, I'm just going to talk about like a few things just because there's a lot of time here that there's not really anything to say. Okay. I'm okay, so I already said in the beginning that I needed a lot of scheduling this year. The end of this year is going to be very interesting because I have two, well I have a UAL competition and then I have a theater show. And I'm also a part of the board, so we're planning banquet, we're getting ready for the end of the year, and then classes are so much harder, and I'm trying out for next year's banquet, and there's all this stuff, so I'm trying to be very prepared, because I'm also volunteering for a lot of work, and I'm not complaining, I, I put myself up for all of this, and I'm excited, I'm just saying I need to keep myself on track. So yeah, that's why I decided I should post about this, because I really wanted to like be like, do this, do the April thing, do it, do it. So I'm doing it. <laughs> and then I did my monthly. Uh, it's not that complicated. Oh yes, here's my mess of a pencil bag with all my oh, washi tape thrown in there. It was fine. Um, yeah, and I just kind of highlighted part of it in blue. Oh, I messed up the days. Oh uh, yeah, I thought Wednesday. I thought today was April 1st, but it's not. Tomorrow's April 1st, but it's fine. Um, April Fools, <laughs> but yeah, so it starts off Thursday, and I screwed that up, but other than that, it's, yeah, it's fine. Oh, and then I added some more washi tape, because I saw the blue, and I was like, this looks good, and yeah. I'm also, <laughs> um... Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how we're doing this, when we're doing this, or if we're sure about doing this. But a group of friends and I are planning on making a new YouTube channel. It's going to be four of us, and it's going to be pretty cool. And I don't really have <laughs> any more details about it. Um, but I'll probably make more comments about it on this channel. Just because <laughs> it's going to be pretty fun. Yeah, you should check it out when it's done. <laughs> and now that I'm done with my monthly, I go on to my habit tracker. I used to go all out on this, and I started to make it more simple, because when I have all of the different ones, and it's like all over the page, it makes me, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I just feel like I'm unaccomplished when I don't fill out some of them, but then if there's only a few, and I do it every single day, and it's like an easy task to accomplish, it makes me feel more accomplished, and it helps me keep up a habit, like actually keep up a habit. So I just go with a few, and I just try to mark every single day. Yeah, that's the best way for me to do it. Um, but yeah, and then here's my weekly spread. Um, it's pretty simple. And normally I just kind of go like through each day, and then I just go back. But yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to do a final flip through on my TikTok. <laughs> 
y'all enjoyed my video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, you know, do all that. Or don't. <laughs> it's fine. But, um, either way, if you want to, you can go follow my TikTok or uh, my Instagram, as I'm more active on TikTok, and I'll post about videos on Instagram whenever I post. Um, so yeah, you can check that out. I'll probably have it on the screen somewhere, or maybe in the description below. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for my next video. Until then, bye everyone!